Tom, I'm bringing down the convention to support the uh, Workers Action Centre's campaign to raise the minimum wage. Uh, workers in this province are earning $10.25 an hour minimum wage. That's about 19% below the poverty level. It's been that way for many, many years and we're saying enough is enough. It's time to raise the minimum wage up to at least $14 an hour. I'm the uh, Labour critic of the federal NDP. I'm a, I'm a member of parliament and I'm here to, uh, to walk with the uh, OFL delegates to ask for a rise in the minimum wage in a country as rich as Canada. It's a shame that workers working full-time live in poverty. This has to stop. We want change. Well, they don't give them enough hours to earn the extra hours because they keep hiring new staff. And now I've got people that, with eight years working or working beside people that are making 10 25 an hour. And it's grossly unfair. They need a $14 an hour wage just to live in a city like Toronto because all my units are in the city of Toronto. When I say people, you say power. The minimum wage is so low right now that people are working two to three jobs to survive. Not live, but survive. Parents have no time to be with their kids, and this will impact the child's welfare. Children should not be the ones to suffer because of corporate greed. Shame. But we've got to start to speak for those thousands of workers, hundreds of thousands of workers, who have been exploited and don't earn greater than 10.25 an hour. The way they talk about how Walmart, Tim Hortons, McDonald's, they make uh, very big profits. So what uh, people like at Workers Action Center are trying to point out is that you know certain giant enterprises like those, you make so much profit, so why don't they consider raising the minimum wage? Minimum wage don't have money stop in the offshore bank out. They don't go to Europe for vacation. They spend their money right in the local restaurant, the corner store. So that bring the business to the local economy, local business, and they will create more jobs. We are now living 19% below the poverty line, and the minimum wage has been frozen for over three years. I now feel motivated to keep going. This movement, our movement, has given me hope because we are doing something about it. The fight to raise the minimum wage is also your fight. Poverty affects us all. We need you to help us by coming out on 14th of the month actions. Every 14th of the month, we have an action that represents $14. Workers who earn decent wages and benefits and put their kids into university as a result of that. Um, you, you know, you've got folks who are in the minimum wage looking enviously at those who are in unions and saying, hey, I don't have this. And, and the Canadian Federation of Independent Business, for example, are trying to drive down their wages, drive us down to where the poverty level wages are. So, um, so there's a community of interest there between the two of us. Like it's important for us to raise the minimum wage. When we raise the minimum wage, we raise it for everybody in the province. That then becomes the new floor. Please join us. Join us by going to our website and sending Kathleen Wynne a message. Let's send her a loud enough message that so she has no excuse to say that she didn't hear it. We need $14 an hour right now. <laughs>